Well, everyone, we finally know when Doom Eternal is coming to Nintendo Switch. We've been waiting for this game for or what seems like over a year at this point. Um, we knew the Switch version was going to come later than all the other platforms, but there's been complete silence. And then people started to panic about a week or two ago when their physical pre-orders were being canceled. Uh... Some retailers saying that, hey, the game's not coming at all. Others saying, well, it's, it's probably digital only. But Bethesda and the rest of the crew, Panic Button, who did the porting, did not say anything. Other than there will be news on this soon. And then in between the time we heard when there will be news on this soon and today when they finally talked about it, well, Bethesda, id Software, and all the related companies were sold to Microsoft for $7.5 billion, which made people question even more, hey, maybe they just aren't going to bring this to Switch, which would be strange since Microsoft has already confirmed that all prior commitments, including like Deathloop for PlayStation 5, would continue to go as planned. Now, technically, Microsoft doesn't own ZeniMax yet, which is the parent company of all these studios. Uh, that sale will not go through until some point in 2021. There's a lot of legal litigation and stuff you got to get through when you're making a purchase of this size. But the point is that Doom Eternal is coming to Switch after all. And it's coming on December 8th. Now, throughout this video, you're watching the same one-minute trailer released by Bethesda of the Nintendo Switch version of the game, which I gotta say, it looks pretty good. It looks possibly... We, we have to have it on hand, but it looks possibly even better than the original Doom 2016 looked on Switch, which I already thought looked passable. Uh, this one looks pretty good, too. Now, it looks like it's about 30 FPS. All the trailers are in 30 FPS, so uh, we'll, we'll just have to deal with that. But uh, that's expected, I suppose. The Switch is significantly less powerful than the other hardware Doom Eternal has appeared on. So, yes, we finally have a release date for Doom Eternal, and it's going to be digital only. There's a whole bunch of additional stuff, um, like, you know, you can purchase it December 8th, you know, or play it, for, you know, or download it December 8th. It says you, there's no pre-download for it. Uh, so you can download it December 8th, 2020 at midnight. Uh, you could buy uh, directly from the Nintendo Switch eShop or digital codes from certain retailers. Uh, the size of the game is going to be 18.8 .8 gigabytes, uh, but they say TBD on that. There's probably going to be some day one patches and stuff that might make it even bigger. Uh, let me see. Uh, if you pre-order Doom Eternal uh, at Nintendo Switch from retailers, you need to reach out to those retailers to get your refunds. Um, the uh, people want to know how early they can purchase uh, the early purchase bonus, which is the Rip and Tear Pack plus Doom 64. Uh, and they basically said the Rip and Tear content will be automatically downloaded and applied to your game. This would be the same as if you purchased the pack of additional content and it would be applied to you in the same way. A Nintendo eShop digital download code of Doom 64 will automatically be sent to your email that's associated with your Nintendo account. Uh, no codes for bonus content will be provided at retail. So basically what they're saying is, hey, if you buy it digitally, you're just going to get all this stuff anyways. Um... Let's see here. Uh, any other inter uh, are there any unique controls for Doom Eternal on Nintendo Switch? Uh, and they said Doom Eternal has optional gyroscopic controls that can be turned on or off in the main menu. So people are gonna some people are gonna be pretty thrilled about that. Uh, will Doom Eternal on Nintendo Switch have multiplayer? And they go yes. Battle mode is a two versus one multiplayer experience that pits a fully armed Doom Slayer against two player controlled demons, fighting it out in a best of five round match in an intense first person combat. Uh, will there be Ancient Gods Part One release on the Nintendo Switch version of Doom Eternal? The Ancient Gods Part One will arrive at a later date, so they are planning to bring some of the DLC over to the game so that's that's good news that they're not just going to dump this and then abandon it they are going to continue support for this game uh they have some known issues uh issue number one is players in recent players menu appear to uh, be removed from the list of boosters without any player input uh there is a resolution for it. a known issue with the boosters menu results in more than three boosters appearing when replacing boosters the replaced boosters are removed from returning to the menu later and this will be resolved in a future pass patch another issue is the equipment launcher appears pink while using flame belch and taking a photo in photo mode uh, this is a known issue that occurs when using photo mode on the onslaught power up or cheat code causes the equipment launcher to appear this way. Uh, issue, uh, the last issue that they know about anyways is the Slayer falls through the bottom of the West Cannon elevator when reaching the top in Arc Complex. Uh, the resolution here says this has been observed when the Slayer is standing in a very specific position on the edge of the elevator. Standing in the center of the elevator resolves this issue. So basically, it doesn't really resolve it. The issue still exists. Just don't stand on the edge of the elevator. So, yeah, this is uh, very, very interesting. And we're finally going to get this Doom Eternal release. 
Uh, I, I predicted when they said soon, we we're probably going to get this as a shadow drop. Well, they didn't shadow drop it. They gave us, you know, about a week's notice, eight days notice. I, I, I'm just a little miffed at this point. I think as a Nintendo Switch owner, we need to appreciate what, what this is. This is a full AAA crazy experience that I think most would agree shouldn't be possible on Switch coming to Switch, and we need to enjoy it because this might be the last id software game we are going to get. We have gotten quite a few id software games on Switch. When it comes to support from Bethesda and the rest, it's pretty much been id software where we get the support. So we've gotten Doom uh, 2016, we got Doom Eternal, uh, we had uh, obviously Wolfenstein, the new Colossus, uh, you know, we had another Wolfenstein game. So we've had two Wolfenstein games and two Doom games. That's pretty much been the extent of the support from Bethesda. And it's it's just crazy to me to think about that this could be it, folks. Enjoy this moment, Switch owners. Enjoy it. Because this might be the end of the support. As these studios transfer hands over to uh, Microsoft, as it took over a year to get this game ported to Switch... It's to a point now where I think we just need to expect, which we maybe we should expect with next-gen consoles being out anyways, for this to be it. For this to be the final game from Bethesda that we are going to see on a Nintendo Switch platform. So, enjoy this. Enjoy this, enjoy this, enjoy this, because I don't think we're going to get any more of these, either because Microsoft decides to keep them exclusive, or just because it's not going to be technically feasible uh, moving ahead as they look towards beefing up these games even more with next-gen systems. Again, it's a miracle this game's even running on Switch. I've talked about before how any game could technically run on Switch if you're willing to make enough sacrifices, but there's going to be a point here with these next-gen platforms where you know push comes to shove and you're just going to have to decide that the game doesn't look well. Uh, there's been some comparisons going out there for Immortals Phoenix Rising, which, by the way, reminder, that comes out in three days. Three days! That game, oh, so good, guys. I don't know if you guys watched me play the demo of it. I played a uh, Google Stadia demo of it over on Twitch about a month ago, but that game is so good, guys. And now there's a bunch of footage and stuff coming out for that game, and that game is looking, uh, really good even on Switch. Like, people are actually noting it surprisingly looks good on Switch. Of course, it looks amazing on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Duh! But it looks really good on Switch. Like, the sacrifices made aren't really that bad. I mean, obviously, you're going to have some, um, some uh, you know, not as, not as a, a deep of a depth of field, a little LOD, a little level of detail uh, decrease, and obviously, there's going to be a resolution cost. Maybe even a frame rate cost. I, I think for some people that is a big deal. But I think in general, compared to most games that come to Switch, Phoenix Rising looks good. So in the next week, we're getting two major AAA games, one from Ubisoft, one from Bethesda. I'm pretty stoked about that. It's good to see Switch continue to get the support. I'm interested to see how these how the sales of these games do at the peak of the Switch's popularity because that's what we're in right now. But whatever it is, you want to go uh, buy Doom Eternal, go for it. Go pre-order it. You can't pre-install it, unfortunately. But the size isn't that bad. 18 gigs, what, 19 gigs, maybe maybe 20 gigs after updates. Uh, whatever it is, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see all you slayers on the other side.